7 and 6. Because this is how God feels about the so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American man and woman. It ain't just the man, he like the women as well. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Read that for me. Chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He said the black man is a holy person, meaning he's separate. He said the Lord thy God has chosen thee. Read to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself uh -huh. above all people. He said he, yo, the so-called black men, which are the Israelites, we are above all people. How do we, how, why are we fighting for equality if God said we are above all people? That's because we lost who we were. We don't know who we are anymore. Go to Jeremiah 17 and 4. We lost all of our heritage. All we know is go to work. Pay bills. Right. Celebrate the days they celebrate. Celebrate the birthdays. We going against what God set in order because we've been destroyed. We did this to ourselves. Hold that Hosea 13 and 9. Hosea 13 and 9. Because I know we like to put the blame on the white man. That's what we like to do. We, we, we like to point the fingers. They just a belt that God is using to whoop our ass. Right. That's it. Read that. Hosea 13, verse 9. O Israel. O Israel, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Thou hast destroyed thyself. We have destroyed ourselves. Because God gave us an option. He said, you do what I say, I'm going to let you rule this whole earth. But if you go against my laws, I'm going to put these curses on you. So right now, we're living, living in the midst of the curses. Because Moses put out, gave us the commandments. And what we said... Well, everything they'll, they'll command us, we will do. But yet we don't do. Yet we don't do. Like right now, my sister, since you've been listening, I've just seen what you put in your mouth. Go to Jeremiah 17 and 4. I got to go over that. I got to go over that. What you said? Who said that? The book of Tupac? Did the book, the, who said that? Go to Jeremiah 17 and 4. Watch this. I'm going to go, I'm going to deal with that. Because everybody say, only, uh, only God can judge me. Do you really want God to come judge you? 
No, because he's going to put your ass to death. He's going to put your ass to death. Read that. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. He said he's going to discontinue from our heritage. Watch, we're going to prove to you that God set judges on the earth to deal with his people. Because I, I love when people go to the book of Tupac. Ain't never heard, ain't never read it in the Bible, but yet we always quote it. But it's a whole Bible called Judges. A book in the Bible called Judges. Read this. Judges chapter 2 verse 16. Nevertheless, the Lord raised up Judges. What did the Lord raise up? The Lord raised up judges. The Lord raised up judges. They say only God can judge me. But when we go to court, there's a white man sitting at the top of the thing saying, hey, you got 10 years. Boom, you got 10 years. <laughs> you got 10 years, but, but, but don't judge me. The Bible just said, what he going to do? The Lord made judges. We the judges of the earth. Right. The Lord made judges. Read. Which delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. Uh -huh. And yet. They will not hearken unto their judges. You're not going to hearken. We the judges, and y'all don't want to hearken unto your judge. Right. But yet you will go to court and hearken unto whatever that dude lay out. That's backwards. We'll follow the oppressor, but we won't follow our brothers who try to save our soul. Because right. that's all we out here doing. Because on the pack of that cigarettes, it says you will get cancer. So God is already telling you that he's going to judge you by giving you cancer. Right. What you got, Austin? Sirach 4526. Sirach 4526. Go to Sirach 4526. You killing yourself, sis. And Lord told you what he gonna do. The Lord telling you, he he wrote it on the he had them write it on the pack that you're gonna get cancer. That's crazy. And you might as hey, by smoking that cigarette, you you might 4526. 4526. All praises to the most high, you put it out. That's that's repentance right there. The Lord loved that thing you just did. You put the cigarette out. All praises to the Most High. Read that. Sirach 45 verse 26. God gave you wisdom in your heart to judge his people. God gave us the wisdom. The wisdom is this Bible to judge his people, to correct his people. Because God wants you to come back to your, your law, statutes, and commandments, which is your heritage. God wants you to come back to him. He don't want you to come to Seize your boat, who got you celebrating Christmas, got you eating pork, got you uh, blonding your hair, got women wearing pants, got men wearing dresses and purses. God don't want you to be doing that. God wants you to come back to your natural state because God had hair wool. If you, if you really believe that God, if you come from the image of God and he had hair wool, why would you go to, um, what's that, Mimi's Beauty Mart, Beauty Supply and buy fake hair? Why would we do that? Give me that wisdom of Solomon uh, 3 and 13. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 13. Let's see who the first author of beauty is. Because if we are made in his image, then that means we are the standard of beauty, correct? Right. You know. Wisdom of Solomon 13 verse 3. With whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods. Saying the beauty we've been delighted took us to be gods. Right. We gods, read. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. It said, gotta let you know how beautiful you are because the Lord made you in his image. The Lord made the so-called black man and black woman in his image. So when we go put all the different dye and stuff in our hair, we altering what God made beautiful. So we taking what God make, what God says is beautiful and putting in our own head what's beautiful. But that's not according to God, read on. For the first author of beauty hath created them. It said the first author of beauty created them. So God is the standard of beauty. God is the standard of what we all should be looking like, who we want to look like. Not going to the uh, this beauty supply and putting in weave in our head, putting in dye in our head, uh, putting all perms in our head. Because that's against God. God is the author of beauty. When we do that, we take on them different spirits. When we do that, now watch this. Go to, uh, now let, let's prove that God had that woolly hair. Give me that, uh, Daniel. Give me that, Daniel. We're going to prove how God's hair looked. Then we're going to prove how the sun hair looked. Right? Give me that, Daniel. Read that, 7 and 9. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. It said the ancient of days did sit. So sit down, you must have a what? A body. 
You can't sit down if you just a floating net, you floating spirit. So God has a body. Right. It said, what well, an ancient of days did sit. God was here before day one because he created day one. So he comes before the days, right. which means the ancient of days. Read. Whose garment? Whose garment? So now let you know that he wears clothes. A lot of people like to think that uh, Adam and Eve was running around in the garden butt naked. No. They had clothes on. Yeah, Read. Right. Whose garment was white as snow? Uh -huh. And the hair of... And the what? And the hair. So now it's talking about the hair of God. What kind of hair did he have? And the hair of his head like the pure wool. It was a pure wool. You ever seen a sheep? That's how God's hair was. Pure. When we start putting the perm in it, we taking out the pureness. When we start putting the weave in it, we taking out the pureness because we've been taught to hate ourselves and love our oppressor. Bring it out. That's why we'll come back, the black man that come up here and teach, but let yet a white man come up here and we'll just sit there and take it. We'll listen. Not saying you, sis. I'm saying our people in general because we hate our brethren, but we love our oppressor. It's called Stockholm Syndrome, and we suffer from it. Right. Go to Revelations 1 and 14. Now let's see how the sun hair was, was in the Bible, or is in the Bible. Revelations 1 and 14. Read verse 3 first. Read that verse 3 first. Revelation 1 verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. It said, blessed is he that read, because if you're reading it for yourself, can't nobody trick you. May Ling in there can't trick you out your hair. Right. Can't trick you out getting your hair dyed, getting it braided. Now, you can get braids. Don't get me wrong. You got to just use your own hair. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Because uh, cause God was the first author of beauty. Not the white man. It's just that we've been beat down so low that when we see them, we see God. But he the damn devil the Bible speak of. God got, God got issue with him because the way he did with you. The way he turned you against your brothers. The way he turned you into believing all these different things. Going to church on Sunday, that's against God. God said, keep the Sabbath day holy, which starts tonight sundown. Right. They got you, the white man got you wearing pants. God said, my sisters need to wear a dress because that thing needs some air. That's why, yeah, what, so just wonder why they get yeast infections. Because that thing is closed up and need air. Bring it Read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said, Christ's head and his hairs were white like wool. We the only people on the earth got woolly hair. So we got to come back to rocking our natural wool. We got to come back to that. Because the only reason why, remember back, I know uh, you may not be as, as, as old as the 70s, but in the 70s, everybody walked around with that big wool. They walked around, they, they were proud of it. They even had the fist, the little pig with the fist. Everybody was proud of it. We got to get back to that, That's to right. rocking our natural wool. Read on. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. He said Christ's feet like fine brass, the color of a penny. It's fine brass. That means he had the glowing skin. Fine brass. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. It said his skin was so so dark it looked like it was burned in a furnace. That means he'd be looking my complexion, probably even darker than that. Wesley Snipes' complexion. Bring it out. Christ was a very very dark man. So why? Do we celebrate the holidays of this image because we've been taught by the white man to hate ourselves and to love them to worship they uh go to first maccabees 3 and 48. i'm gonna prove why we when did it start when did it start for us to start thinking this was christ see all we gotta do is open the bible read this bible is only for the so-called blacks and spanish and native americans the white man ain't got no business having his dirty hands on it neither the chinese man neither the african man neither the indian man that's the the, the arabs they ain't supposed to be touching our Bible either. Read on. Verse Maccabees 3, verse 48. Hold on, brother. And laid open the book of the law. So the other nations are laid open the book of the law. The Bible is the book of the law. What they did with it? Wherein the heathen had... The heathen, the other nations, wherein the heathen sought to paint the likeness of their images. They painted the likeness of their images. So now we worship... Caesar Boger. Right. Caesar Boger actually had, was uh, having sex with his own sister, a homosexual. That's what we worship. Go to Revelation 2 and 9. Let me show you something. Because a lot of things we don't notice. We think this guy, let's see who they are in the Bible. Bring it 
Help. Let's see. Revelations 2 and 9. Because I know the pastor don't even want to read Revelation. I remember, I remember uh, one time, I didn't grow up in a church, but I've been to funerals and I asked the pastor something. And he told me Revelation was sealed, but I'm like, bro, I just opened it up. What is it sealed from? That don't make no sense. Read Revelation 2 and 9. Revelation 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulations. So God said he knows the Israelites' works and our tribulations. He knows that we're going through hell here. God knows this thing. Read. And poverty. He knows our poverty. Look at our community. This is only our community. You go to the, uh, what is it, West Mobile? It don't look like this. West Mobile ain't got a beauty supply sitting right there. But our communities, it do. He, God said he knows about these things. Read. But there are rich. But we are rich. The reason we are rich, because we got the promises that if we come back to God's laws, we're going to rule the whole earth. That's right. Because our sisters, our feet used to be so delicate, if it touched the ground, it blistered up. Because they had service to carry them everywhere. But nowadays, I know y'all seen Myra from uh, March show, feet looking like Myra's. Read. But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. And I also know the lies, the blasphemy who say they are Jews. Who walking around this earth saying they are Jews now? The so-called white man. Black people ain't calling themselves Jews. The so-called white man calling themselves Jews over in Israel. The ones that run Hollywood. Why you think all that homosexuality is coming out in Hollywood? Because they into that stuff. We, we, the Bible's against that. It said he know the blasphemy, the lies who say what? They are Jews uh -huh. and are not. But they not. They not the Jews. Because the real Jews are black. Yes. You a Jew. You a Jew. You a Jew. The real Jews are black. And right. this is from the tribe. It's short for Judah. Read. But are the synagogue. Hold on. He said they not the real Jews, but are the synagogue of Satan. The Bible said they the damn devil. Right. They the deceive. Devil just mean deceiver. They deceive the whole earth to believe that Christ looks like this. They, they deceive the whole earth to believe that they are the Israelites. That we are nothing. That we are slaves. We were made, we royal people. We were made from royalty. But we got to come back. We lost our royalty because we don't keep the commandments. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.